this year, what we have tried to do is to populate the plenary sessions with the perhaps most exciting uh, fields that we identified uh, in cancer research. So every day we're going to have one of those. And the opening session is going to be a number of topics from epigenetics to CRISPR technology to uh, genomics, uh, clonal evolution. Stem cell biology. Uh, the opening session is really a must attend. It's some of the leaders in the field in all of these areas that uh, Jose is talking about. The CRISPR technology is really changing the way we do cancer research. Um, the genomics is changing the way we treat patients. Um, so this is really a, a, a session that is a must attend for everyone. And then we're going to be focusing on the following days on issues such as uh, tumor metabolism. Uh, lots of excitement there with new targets and new vulnerabilities that we can address in cancer. We're going to also be addressing the issue of genomics, clonal evolution, tumor heterogeneity. I would say that the metabolism plenary session is really the, the latest, most fundamental, newest idea in, in cancer biology that there are likely to be tremendous new opportunities for therapeutic intervention. It's just still relatively basic, but uh, really the forefront of uh, many new types of cancer uh, innovation. And then the other plenary is going to be on newer technologies that enable us to make earlier diagnoses. So a lot of talk about liquid biopsies and other platforms that will change the way we um, do a lot of our clinical research. Another thing we should point out is that throughout all of these plenaries, certainly a thread will be immunotherapy. There's tremendous breakthroughs being made in that arena uh, every day. And that'll be in the opening plenary as well, and then also a later plenary. It is really exciting where the field of cancer science stands at the moment. All of the fundamental breakthroughs are moving to the clinic, so the, the annual meeting will really span the panoply of all, of all the way from the most basic fundamental mechanisms all the way to how those fundamental mechanisms are being used in the clinics. The way we envision cancer science is as a continuum. We can no longer separate fields. So uh, the importance of all being together. Clinicians need to understand the, uh, the most deep basic science because that basic science could be only a few years or a few months away from having real implications to, to patient care and vice versa. No longer can uh, basic science be away from patients, right? Some of the best basic science is basically coming from observations uh, in patients in the clinic. So therefore, if we agree on the concept that there is a single cancer science community, that provides a strong rationale for everybody being together and everybody learning from each other. And that's why we are making the point that the plenary sessions will have no other competing uh, uh, sessions. It's going to be like a gathering, like a get-together moment for the whole community every day. And getting this basic scientists together with the clinical scientists really helps to speed up that, both to promote the discussion and speed up the movement of new ideas in, into the clinic. So it really is a, the annual meeting is a great place for those groups to come together to really synergize off one another. So last year, we experimented with a new concept, and that was the closing plenary session. And the idea was to have a summary of the highlights of the meeting being presented in, a, in, in just one session. And we had no idea whether this was going to work or not, and whether people were going to be engaged or not in this. To our surprise, we had standing room only. It was over 3,000 people that were in that room and it was incredibly successful. We received a lot of good feedback. So this year we have decided to do it again, and the idea is to have a session that provides an overview, a summary, of all the highlights of the annual meeting.